Welcome to the June edition of Tile TV. This month's episode is sponsored in part by USG Corporation, manufacturer of Duroc Cement Board Next Gen. It's 25% lighter, easier to cut and fasten, and installs 20% faster. Hello and welcome to the June edition of Tile TV, a trusted source for industry news, information, and entertainment. I'm Michelle Smith. And I'm Bobby Dodge. Tile TV is getting philanthropic. That's right. Tile TV is getting involved with the Tile Partners for Humanity. Tile Partners for Humanity is a nonprofit organization partnered between the tile industry and Habitat for Humanity International. The organization works to eliminate substandard housing across the world. Tile TV is proud to donate a dry guy kit to the organization. The kit allows indoor wet saw operation, ensuring that the area around the wet saw remains dry and clean. Tile Partners for Humanity is always looking to collect tile donations and leftover material that otherwise would find their way into the garbage. Here's your chance to make a difference. For more information on Tile Partners for Humanity, visit their website at www.tpfh.com. Welcome to this month's edition of Everyday Etiquette. A good customer referral can make or break your business sometimes. It's important to make sure your client is happy with the process as well as the outcome of your tile installation. When you are leaving a job site, make sure to clean up or store your materials. Remember, you won't be back at the site for 12 hours. It's important to try and keep materials out of a customer's way. A good marketing tip to use is to take before and after pictures of your work. Send the pictures along with a thank you note and business card to your client. Your client will then have your business cards handy for when someone asks them for a referral. So, make sure to keep things clean. A clean job site equals a clean reputation, which in turn leads to more business. This month, we'd like to provide you with another tip to ensure safety at your job sites. Tile TV reporter Dana Brooks has that story. Did you ever consider that a 1 4th inch diameter electric cord could cost you your business? Extension cord related fires are all too common. A recent fire put more than 50 companies out of business temporarily at a loss of nearly $1 million. The cord ran from an outlet underneath a door to a radio. The continual movement of the door on the cord eroded the insulation, allowing it to heat and ignite. According to the National Fire Protection Association, 10% of fires involved electrical equipment arcing or overloading. Extension cords are intended for temporary use only. Cords that are too small for the job can overheat, melting the insulation, leaving bare wires exposed. Establish an inspection program. The policy for extension cords is that they should be maintained in good condition. They are to be visually inspected each day for external defects and taken out of service when there is evidence of damage. Supervisors are to make a monthly inspection and to use a color code system to indicate the cord has been inspected and is safe. Turning now to our industry leader segment, where we feature a particular member who sets the standard for quality, innovation, and service. This month, we introduce you to Nadine Edelstein. Tile TV correspondent Emily Adams has more. Nadine has been a tile contractor for almost 17 years and has always hoped to work on a project like her award-winning mosaic installation. This is one of those projects that has, uh, it's just one of those uh, beautiful projects that every contractor comes for or just to work with a great team and um, I think that the the skills that I developed over the years you know, just really helped me be prepared for this type of project. But that doesn't mean it wasn't a challenge. There were a lot of challenges uh, during this project. Um, there were a lot of discussions with the designer uh, about the color palette, and as a result, I created a library uh, for future clients as well of all the different slates that are available and what they look like on edge so I could create custom color palettes. For, um, for this particular job and for future clients in addition. Um, 
the, uh, the scale of the piece was large, and so uh, in order to translate my little napkin sketch basically to 15 by 11 feet was a challenge that uh, we were able to overcome by the architect creating the full scale plotter printer images that uh, were given to me and the concrete contractor so we could be in sync with our shape as I developed the piece of the concrete contractor for the concrete. In the end, though, Nadine found her installation to be as brilliant as she'd imagined. Well, um, I think it's an award-winning piece because um, I had great support from the client, the architect, all the designers that were involved, and um, it was a long-term long -term project, so we had a lot of time to pay attention to detail and, and um, respect the process. And it's a, an entryway to a, a modern house that was designed to house an art collection. And um, the specific shape of the installation was uh, an ellipse that was um, designed to um, create a counterpoint to all the rectilinear hard edges of the rest of the house. Thanks, Nadine, for being an innovator and a leader in the industry. Bobby, Michelle, back to you. Thanks, Emily. Each month, we'd like to provide you with a market research tip or statistical information that will help you better understand the industry. According to a market research study, many manufacturers are streamlining their production process to create porcelain tiles that look like natural stones. The study shows that consumers are attracted to the lower prices and maintenance that comes with the purchase of porcelain tiles. The porcelain tiles imitate the looks and feel of natural stone and are a good choice for nature-loving consumers. A special thanks to Bart Bettega and Jim Olson at the NTCA and to all our sponsors. And of course, a big thanks to you for watching. And remember, if you have any story ideas you'd like to see on Tile TV, please send us an email. Be sure to stick around for new product and service information directly following our broadcast. See you next month for the July edition of Tile TV. Tile TV is brought to you by these fine sponsors. USG Corporation, Coverings, Accept Credit Cards, True Color by Bostic, Tuscan Leveling System, and The Dry Guy. Research, production, and distribution by OMG National and its Tile TV division. For a full-service approach to marketing in a self-service world, call, click, or visit OMG National today.